Well, good morning, everyone. I hope that you had a wonderful weekend. Here we are on Monday morning, and we're going to go to Matthew chapter 11. Matthew chapter 11 is going to help us out with something really important because I think that anytime that we have a question come into our heart, maybe some discouragement, I think a lot of times we think that means that we're not we're not very godly. We're not uh, we're not we're, or maybe we're disappointing to God. But really, even the strongest get discouraged. But it's what you do with it that makes the difference. Uh, discouraged to the point of evaluation or discouraged to the point of asking questions uh, for real answers is okay. And so listen to what happens here. And I think you'll recognize uh, that, that John the Baptist was not an ungodly man who just uh, always doubting, always questioning, always uh, unsure of himself. No, John, John was always strong, but here he finds himself in a very hard position and he just wants to make sure that what he's doing is worth it that it's actually what he should have been doing the whole time and verse number one in chapter 11 says and it came to pass when jesus had made an end of commanding his disciple 12 disciples he departed thence to teach and to preach in, in their cities now when john had heard in prison uh, the works of christ he sent two of his disciples and said unto him uh, art thou he that should come, or do we look for another? And so for some reason, John was just, just having one of those days. I don't know if you have those where it's like, man, nothing's working right. I'm stuck in this bad situation. Is this really what I'm supposed to be doing? Uh, and Jesus answered and said unto, unto them, Go and show John again those things which ye do hear and see. And the blind receive sight, and the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the, the deaf hear, the dead are raised up, and the poor have the gospel preached unto them. And blessed is he whoever shall not be offended in me. And so so Jesus is basically sending a message to John, don't don't be offended or don't be discouraged by what you're what you have to suffer for me. Just remember who I am and what I'm doing and and know that that I'm making a difference and you're part in this, John, is making a difference too. And so I want to encourage you with this. If you're discouraged this morning, uh, grab your Bible and, and spend some time with the Lord. Call out to him and ask him to to help you understand what's going on. I'm not telling you to, to question God about his authority or question him and what he's doing. I'm, at, I'm saying you can ask him. John didn't just simply throw in the towel and say, oh, forget it. Jesus must not be who I thought he was because I'm having a down day. Uh, I'm having a bad circumstance. Uh, he sends to Jesus and says, Jesus, are you the guy? Are you really him? And Jesus affirms him and says, yes, I am. Don't worry about what you're suffering. It's all for the cause. And so I want to encourage you with that this morning. If you're a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ, but you're going through a tough time or maybe a very discouraging and low time, Call out to the Lord. Spend time with Jesus. He'll help you uh, remember who he is and what he's done for you and what he's using you to accomplish. I hope that helps you get your week off to a great start.